let's have a look at Nathan Buckley's kicking. So enjoy these highlights. Hopefully while I'm talking, you see the great man in action. What we're going to do after these highlights is review his kicking in slow-mo, and we're going to look at some finer points so we can learn off him. Why did he kick the ball so far? Why was he such a good kick under pressure? How could he hit so many targets and be so efficient under pressure? Okay, He had a unique ball grip. Uh, he had a really high ball lift, but the great man was the best kick I've ever seen. So why not learn off him? Let's have a look at this video and see what we can find out. So why was he such a penetrating and prodigious kick of the football? Number one is look at that, how far he gets this leg back. Okay, so you can see there that leg is getting a long way back and that takes a lot of mobility, okay, to simply get that leg all that way back there. Okay, so he's really got a long lever there and it's going to generate a lot of force down this way, okay? The next reason why he is such a long kick, okay, and that there, okay, you can see how much his leg is in flexion, okay? So if we look there and there, all right, and he's still got more to go, all right? So if I go a little bit more, okay, and you can see that angle, okay, is quite a lot, all right? So anything under that 90 degrees is a lot. Um, so you can see the knee is in flexion and you, that angle there, his heel is getting really close to his butt. So by driving his leg backwards, okay, back behind the body there, and also getting that, that knee in flexion, that's why he's generating so much power this way, okay? So that's really, really impressive. The other things we can look at, which most good footballers do, you can see he's lifting the ball, okay, to the chest, and he's quite a high lifter of the ball, so he's actually lifting it probably above the chest. Um, you can see, as we've stated many a times, that that ball is close to a horizontal plane. Um, his balance arm is coming off here, so you can see just as he's getting to the top of the ball lift, that balance arm is coming off. So we'll keep scrolling forward. Okay. One interesting thing to note with Buckley is that ball grip. Okay. You can see how he's wrapping those fingers around the ball there. So he's already starting to tilt his wrist and it's probably a bit easier for him to push the ball down. Okay, because his fingers are in that position on the ball where he can push it down. So he had a, he had a really unique grip. Um, and we, we might try and find some photos of that to show, all right? So now he's starting, the balance arms come off. Now he's starting to drop, um, to guide the ball down, okay? You can see that balance arm there. And what we look for now is that the balance arm is out and the chest is actually forward, okay? So the chest is forward and the balance arm is out. And that's what we want to look for when we're losing control of the ball, okay? You can see here that he does drop the ball a little bit higher than some of the athletes, but the ball gets to his boot really quickly. And you can see there's his waist. Most of the ball, okay, is below his waist, which we know is the key to a good kick. All right, so from here, you can see his eyes are firmly fixed on the ball, his arms nice and long, and he's starting to guide the ball down, okay? Look at that position of the hand. Okay, pushing the ball down onto the boot this way. And that's why the ball, there's going to be a really minimal chance for error. It's going to hit the ball, the boot really nicely. Okay, at this point, all right, that's where we're contacting. You can look at the nice upright body, strong, stable, balanced leg. Um, eyes are still on the ball. Okay, so he's ticking all the boxes there. One thing interesting to note, and we're just noticing after analysing so many professional players, is that the balance arm at contact when they're kicking a bit further is actually pointing towards the target. It's not up and at 90 degrees. He's actually, it was up. So it was up here at 90 degrees, but now it's actually shooting out and it's pointing towards that target. All right, and that's at contact. So that's something that a lot of players are doing. And, and even when we look at a rugby union goal kick, um, their arm at contact is pointing towards the goals. All right. The arm was pointing towards the target at contact, but now it's directly come across his body. It's not dropping down, it's come horizontal to his body, and that's where the most effective position of the arm is after contact. All right, just another quick look at Buckley. Um, one thing we did want to look at here was that ball grip. Okay, so you can see that he's gripping it a little bit on the um, bottom end of the footy. 
but you can clearly see how spread his fingers are. All right, nice and spread out, applying pressure to the ball, um, and it's looking really um, solid there. All right, here, this is the, the process that I try to teach my junior footballers. He's looking at the target. Okay, so you want to look at your target first, wherever that is. Then when you decide on action, then you want to look at the ball. So it's target, target, ball. All right, so let's have a look. Running, 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 target. He's decided where to kick now, and you'll see he, now he's looking at the ball. Okay, he's decided where to kick. Now looking at the ball. All right, so from here, exactly what we spoke about before. We're looking at the ball lift, okay, clearly up above the chest. Balance arm starting to come off. Okay, a slight bend in that arm as well, which is good. And then from here, let's have a look at contact. Paul Williams is in the way. Get out the way. Here we go. All right, and boom. And there you go. Look at that follow through. All right, everything there. So just a couple of things. A good view of the ball grip, particularly there. Um, a good view of the, the lift of the ball, which is clearly to the chest and the balance arm coming off. But what I wanted to point out was that ball grip and also looking at the target first. Once you decide where the target is and where the space is you want to kick at it, then we look at the ball. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, if you can please hit the subscribe button. Also watch a couple of videos linked in here and you can put those alerts on so you know when our new videos drop. Thanks for watching.